Hi guys and welcome to your September 2019. This is going to be the Divine Energy Oracle message for the beautiful sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Libra, hello. Libra rising here. Hello. Oh, and Libra North Node. So I know all about this energy. Um, as you guys already know, when you're crossing with another energy, I will not read the message in its entirety. Instead, I will encourage you to go back and watch that video. You are no exception, Libra. You are crossing with actually a Pisces, interestingly enough. Um, this was the message that I'm about to share with you that Pisces got back in March. I don't know how this Piscean energy plays into your energy now in September. Only you know that. If this doesn't represent the energy of a person, then it could just be some things that you need to do in a very Pisces manner. manner. Um, but only you know. So go back and listen to that message in its entirety um, as it stands now. I'm going to go ahead and share the message with you. And I may have to read a little bit more on this one because it can be a little vague, okay? But your message is Imagine Solutions. Imagine solutions. So I think that this is coming with the energy of not knowing what to do and being guided to imagine a solution. Let's see what happens. So your divine energy, I'm sorry, invitation, I, I apologize, Libra, is to use your creative imagination Okay, to guide you out of your present challenges onto higher ground. Begin by naming your obstacles honestly, okay, and accurately. Next, imagine as many solutions to the problem you face as possible. Write them down so you can see them on paper, so you can tangibly see them, okay? Call upon your divine energy to inspire you as you write, okay? Things will change for the better the moment you use your power of imagination to solve problems. Check that out. Now, let me go back a little bit and, and read to you how this starts, okay? You may feel overwhelmed by problems for which there does not appear to be an immediate solution. And that's that. So you're being guided to use your imagination to come up with a creative problem. And what's interesting about crossing with the Pisces is that they do use their imagination too much, in fact, to, to some people's taste, for some people's taste. So I know automatically, and Libra, you're pretty creative too, but maybe you're being guided to be a little bit more and move a little bit more and like a Pisces because you're cardinal energy and Pisces is mutable water and you are um, cardinal air. So maybe you're being guided to step back a bit from always charging ahead because you will start started. You know, you, they say that cardinal starts it. Okay. Mutable kind of goes with the flow and finish and, and carries it on and then fixed signs that finishes it they they you know they carry that on at that point so if this doesn't represent a person it's definitely asking you to i think maybe tap into a little bit more mutable maybe you could stand to go with the flow a little bit but ultimately i think um you know, only you know how this Pisces plays a role, but I really do think for a lot of you, you're being guided to kind of go with the flow a little bit and think outside the box on how you solve your problems uh, for September, okay? But only you know, so, or I mean, you could be crossing with the person romantically, you let me know. I'm feeling like it's kind of anybody's game. I'm not being pulled into one direction either way, so... Like, share, subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. I certainly hope this resonated with at least one of you. It is general energy, and you don't have to be a Libra in order to resonate with this message, okay? All right, now, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I will see you guys next month when we do it again. Bye, Libra.